What is up guys, Triple H Guy 2004 just back here with a recap of what I thought of WWE TV this week. Real quick, um, Raw was decent, um, we had the little Stephen Man shot towards CM Punk in Chicago to shut up the crowd, that was funny. Um, the moment where she was like giddy with the shield, or Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns, like, like she was playing with the crowd, like, being like, oh, they're gonna tag up, there's gonna be a reunion of the shield, she was getting all giddy about it, and then she, like, turned total, like, heel, and, like, I was funny, all that, um, tag matches on Raw were good, um, SmackDown was very decent this week, um, we had a great t title defense from Bliss, um, not the biggest Alexa Bliss fan, but, uh, she, she's still champion, um, yeah, so, we also have John Cena as the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Of course, on the continuing streak of John Cena gets a title shot basically whenever he wants tour. Um, so, what, basically when he steps on camera and says he wants a title shot, John Cena automatically gets it. Okay, so we're at this part of his career. I knew this was coming. I don't like it. I, I, it's not that I don't like John Cena. I do. I I was a big fan of his. I still am a big fan of his. I like his matches. Um, just comes from the place of, you know, John just being jammed down our throat. And I know he's obviously going to win the title for the 16th championship. Obviously, that's going to be some down the line. But I hope it's not at the Royal Rumble. I hope he doesn't go into WrestleMania as champion. Um, let AJ go into WrestleMania as champion. Um... Because it makes more sense to let a younger guy and a newer guy into the company go into his first, well, second mania, really, because he went up against Jericho last year. So, second mania, but first as a high-level, you know, top-tier talent um, on the top of WWE's priority. Um, I think AJ should retain and head into WrestleMania, whoever he's facing. Um, possibly the winner of the 2017 Royal Rumble. Um, right now my early picks to win the Rumble are, I'll pick from each show, um, from Raw, I could see, um, well, from Raw, who, who, I know it's gotta be, I'm not gonna be a popular choice, but it's not my, one of my top picks, but. Roman Reigns has to be right up there uh, from Raw. Um, I can't think of anybody else. Um, somehow have Jericho win it, maybe, and set up Owens Jericho, Owens Jericho at WrestleMania for the for the match that you know maybe we've all been waiting for to see. Um, maybe you do that. Maybe you have that at WrestleMania. Maybe that's a possible WrestleMania match. We're going off on off different scenarios. I'm just throwing that out there. Maybe Jericho wins the Royal Rumble from Raw. Um, from SmackDown, I see, um, I can see either Baron Corbin winning it, or I, I'd like to see Baron Corbin, maybe not wrestle for the title, but be on a secondary match for, so I guess Baron Corbin wouldn't be winning it, unless he would... Unless AJ, that would mean, unless AJ loses the title and they face, so scratch that pick. Um, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt would be a hell of a pick. You had him go against The Rock last year on the mic. Um, maybe they finish that, I don't know. I uh, Bray Wyatt is my pick from SmackDown. Another pick from SmackDown would be... I already kind of picked one, but uh, I kind of scratched that out. Um, you see, this is, I don't plan this. Just come on here and shoot from my head. And sometimes it gets me in trouble on here. But, uh, like now. Um, so Bray Wyatt would be my pick. And just like out of the blue pick from SmackDown. Uh, out of the blue, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Randy Orton. Um, I could see maybe Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton ha wreaking havoc in the Royal Rumble. So, um... It's not necessarily what I would do, but um, my friend Sean would love that. Um, 
American Alpha winning the tag team titles. I like that. Hold on to them for a long time. I hope so. Um, but, uh, and we have the champions over on Raw, Sheamus and Cesaro. I like that. I'm so glad they got them off the New Day. I haven't talked about this, so I'll talk about the New Day losing the tag team championships. Oh, I've been waiting for that day for so long. That was so great to watch them lose the tag titles last week. Um, so yeah. They got out due day to by Sheamus and Cesaro with the fake tag. That was awesome at the end of that match at, uh, at Roadblock or whatever the hell that paper was called. Um, yeah, what, anything else I want to talk about? Um, not really. Um, WrestleMania. WrestleMania update, um, have our NXT tickets, I have my WrestleMania ticket, obviously, um, I'm probably not going to Raw, I didn't get any tickets, unless I get tickets last minute, I'm not going to Raw, um, and I'm flying out on Tuesday, so I'm not going to SmackDown, so I'm not going to either one of those shows, but I am going to, um, NXT TakeOver, obviously, um, I'm also going to... Possibly the Hall of Fame, depending on who gets announced as the main main headliner. Um, we'll see. I got till March to buy that ticket. Um, pretty much got a ticket from somebody already that doesn't want to go. Yeah. Um, so we'll see who gets announced for the Hall of Fame. See if we go to that. Um, in the meantime, I'm also going to, on Friday night after the Hall of Fame, if I go to the Hall of Fame. If I don't, anyways... At 11 o'clock, I'm going to meet Bruce Pritchard and Conrad Thompson from Something to Wrestle With podcast. Um, my favorite new podcast of all podcasts, wrestling podcasts, would definitely be Something to Wrestle With, with Bruce Pritchard. Um, good podcast. If you haven't listened to it, I would suggest you go listen to it. Um, I've been actually going back in the catalog and listen to shows on repeat because it's that good worth repeating um the radicals one is very good i would suggest you go listen to that one that's about eddie guerrero uh perry saturn dean malenko and chris benoit coming over from wcw to wwe and all the backstage stuff and what happened and the backstage talks is a great look behind the scenes with bruce pritchard who was there for a lot of things um and yeah I'm also going to the Jim Ross show down in Orlando. Um going to go to the VIP. This year I secured the VIP last year. I thought I secured the VIP, but something happened and became regular ticket a whole mess. So this year definitely meeting Jim Ross on Saturday. Um before NXT. Um so yeah. It'll be fun. Um might go to WrestleCon, not sure yet. Um might go meet Lita. It's about 30 bucks just to get in the thing. So I got to really see who's going to be on there to see who I actually want to meet. I don't want to spend too much money on autographs. Um, and then we always got access if, unless I get a VIP. I might just go to one session, see who's like last year went and went to one session, got to meet Paul Heyman. So I thought it was a pretty good deal for the money that I spent. Um, had to wait in line, but that's what's expected. Especially when there was a lot more people. It won't be as crowded this year. With 20,000 less something fans in attendance. So things won't be as bad as they were in Dallas. Um, it's almost a 10 minute video. So I'm going to cut it off. Uh, so yeah. That's my update on Wrestlemania. Mm, Merry Christmas. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Um... I think I made a video, I might put it up, might have been poor lighting, so I might not put it up, of what I got for Christmas, um, just got a bunch of clothes, if I don't end up putting it up, a bunch of clothes, so yeah, Merry Christmas, hope everybody had a great holiday, whatever they celebrated, I also want to say Happy New Year, um, we, we can all say that we celebrate the New Year, so Happy New Year, enjoy your family, um, and have a merry 2017, hopefully. 
all your, you know, wishes come true. Um, you know. Triple H got 2004. Peace.